What's up guys, my name is Brandon and the iPhone 5S is now the bare minimum device, the lowest device compatible with iOS 11. So I wanted to tell you guys how it's been treating me over the past few days. You know, how's it running, if it's lagging, if you should install it, some of the new features and kind of just some things I've noticed with the 5S over the past week. Now I'm not gonna be going over every single new feature in iOS 11, but if you're curious and you wanna know all the new features and 55 plus hidden features in iOS 11, make sure you check the cards right now and also the links down in the description below. So of course the very first thing you're gonna notice when you install iOS 11 on your iPhone 5s is the new lock screen so you're gonna see if you swipe up you get notifications from earlier today your new notifications are gonna pop up right here but if you swipe up you'll see your old notifications from like yesterday or whenever you didn't open up some notifications from previously they'll show up right there and then you will also notice the new battery icon up here it's a little bit different looks a little different and then if you did have a sim card in, you will notice the new bars here instead of the circles like you saw in iOS 10 and then of course this is the new wallpaper that you get with iOS 11 right here on my lock screen that is the only new wallpaper included with iOS 11 you still have your widgets view and everything if you swipe to the right right there over here on the left hand side and then if you go to the right of course you get your camera like usual and then when you go ahead and unlock your device you're gonna notice the passcode is different as well we have more of a translucent look right here on the lock screen where your buttons are and then when you go ahead and unlock your device you're gonna notice that pretty much everything looks the same maybe the first thing you're gonna notice is that the new app store icon the new icons on the app store and also the iTunes store then you may also notice the new files application which we'll be talking about here in a minute but other than that you're not going to really notice anything new just from looking at the home screen however if you are more of a power user more of a person that just notices performance issues you're going to notice immediately once you unlock the device here on iOS 11 that it's not as fluid it's not as quick as iOS 10 and of course that's likely just due to this being the very first beta of iOS 11 it's probably going to get a lot more stable as time goes on but with the first beta it definitely feels slower than iOS 10. One great thing about updating to iOS 11 is that you're gonna get storage back. You're gonna get some space back on your device. So I got around one gigabyte back from updating from 10.3.2 to iOS 11. So this is especially great for 5S users since I know a lot of you probably have a 16 gigabyte device. So you're gonna to expect to get at least a gigabyte back of storage. I only got a gig back because I really don't have much on this device, but you'll probably get more than a gig back from updating to iOS 11. Now the battery life has not been great at all on my 5S. It's actually worse than 10.3.2, but again, that probably just has to do with this being the very first beta of iOS 11. You've probably been noticing it drain a little bit here since the start of the video. So it's not been great and I don't have the greatest battery on this 5S, but I did tend to get more battery life out of iOS 10.3.2. So once you're on the home screen, you probably will also notice that there are no labels down here on the icons in the dock. And that makes the dock just look so much more clean. The device overall just looks a lot cleaner when we don't have the labels down here on the dock. So that's a really nice addition in iOS 11 aesthetically. And then if you swipe up from the dock, you're gonna notice that we have a completely new completely redesigned control center. So you can actually control all of these toggles. You can decide what you want down here. And you see this one right here, this is actually to record your screen. So if you go and click on that, you can see you are now screen recording natively in iOS without a third party app. If you wanna end it, just go ahead and click on that, click stop, and it saves straight to your camera roll. So to get to this, you just go to settings in here, gonna go back all the way back to control center right here. And you can see you can add and move around the toggles right here, which is really nice, really convenient, and it's a great way to customize your experience here on iOS 11. And one thing I was actually surprised by is that the screen recording on the 5S is actually not laggy at all. So you're not gonna notice any kind of lag or anything in the recordings, which is great. And if we go ahead and swipe down from the notification center, you're gonna notice that that is completely reworked as well. So it looks just like the lock screen. It's not actually the lock screen because you can swipe up and get back to where you were, but it really mimics the lock screen. You can see all your notifications right there. Now, one bug I have noticed specifically on the iPhone 5S is that sometimes I'm not able to pull down the notification center or pull up the control center until I lock my device and then unlock it again, and then I'm able to do so. So I'm not sure what causes this. I'm able to open apps and everything like that, but it does get pretty annoying. It's happened multiple times. So if we go into the app store, you're gonna notice that we have a completely redesigned app store. So it's completely new, it looks completely different than iOS 10. It looks like a completely different platform, but I like it a lot better. I mean, it's not as user-friendly, but it is a lot more interactive. You can see we have these videos right here. You'll have a lot of images and everything like that. So like I said, it's not as user-friendly, friendly so it might, might not be as practical and useful for you guys but I just really love the aesthetics and I, I love the imagery and you know the automatic playing videos and gifts and things like that something to get used to but we do have a completely new app store on iOS 11 and then of course you'll notice that the icon is different as well like I mentioned earlier then we have the files app down here which is just going to let you see all the files that you have synced in iCloud Drive from your iMac and things like that so you can see right here it's not really the full file system like a lot of people thought 
but you can see we have iCloud Drive there on my iPhone recently deleted, and then tags if you tag things in Mac OS. Now going back to apps, let's talk about third-party apps. So opening up YouTube and playing around with YouTube and some of these other third-party apps is not a great experience. There is a lot of lag, and you're gonna notice in YouTube there's actually a bug where you can't see the search up there, so there's no search until after you watch a video and then it reappears. So that is a bug across all devices on iOS 11. It's just a YouTube bug, uh, you know, but that's something to be aware of if you do want to use YouTube. But like I said, playing around with these applications like YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook specifically, I have noticed a good amount of lag and choppiness while going in and out of those applications and just inside the applications going from tab to tab. It has been a lot more laggy than it was on 10.3.2. We also have a semi-dark mode in iOS 11. So you can see here we have this dark mode like look inside of settings here. You get here by going to settings, accessibility, display accommodations, invert colors, and then selecting the smart invert right here. So you can see it says smart invert colors reverses the colors of the display except for images, media, and some apps that use dark color styles. So it's not a full, you know, it's not a real dark mode. If you go back to the home screen, you're gonna notice that the dock is like a blue color. Doesn't really look that good in my opinion. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look that good. But it does look good inside of settings and some other places. But again, it's not compatible with all applications not all applications are gonna have this dark look. So it's not a real dark mode, but it's probably as close as we're gonna get for now. Now, one feature in iOS 11 that's really gonna come in handy for 5S users, again, because most of you guys are probably on the 16 gigabyte variant of the 5S, is this feature right here called Offload Unused Apps. So you can see it says, this will automatically remove unused apps but keep its documents and data. Reinstalling the app will place back your data if the app is still available in the app store. So basically it's just gonna delete the, the application from your device, but keep all your saved data and all your documents and everything like that on the device. And your iPhone is actually gonna detect when you should offload an application if it notices you haven't used it in a while. So this is a great way to save space for you 16 gig iPhone 5S users. So Siri got a bit smarter as well. So if we go ahead and ask it, Siri, can you translate hey to Chinese? So uh, it didn't really pick up exactly what I said, but you can see I said to translate hey in Chinese and it picked up everything I said before that, but it still picked up that I wanted to translate to Chinese. So you can see there inside of Siri, we can now translate, which is really cool. It also got smarter as far as contextual learning. So it's gonna learn about your patterns and things like that. And you know, be able to have more of a conversational like experience with Siri. So really nice improvement there to Siri. It still has a long ways to go, but it's good for now. You also have the ability to move multiple app icons at the same time now in iOS 11. It is a a little bit buggy, especially on the 5S, you're gonna notice a little bit more buggy. Uh, I had trouble adding applications earlier. It seems to be doing okay now, uh, a lot better, but it is, again, a lot more buggy on the 5S than it is on any other device that I've tested iOS 11 on. Again, it seems to be working fine now, but earlier, there we go, it's starting to happen again. You can see I can't really click on icons very well. Okay, there we go. So this takes a little bit, you know, still, pretty buggy on the iPhone 5S. I haven't had that issue once on any other device. So that's another thing to be aware of. So that is iOS 11 on the iPhone 5S. I do not recommend you guys to update to this unless it is just a test device or you know just a spare device you have to play around with betas on. If you have a daily driver 5S, I definitely don't recommend you update to iOS 11 beta one just yet. I would wait until at least the second beta or maybe even just the public beta or even the final version if you can wait. Uh, you know, it just kind of depends on what features you like and what you want. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to check the cards right now in the description for all the features over 50, actually over 60 features in iOS 11. So make sure to check those out uh, once you get done watching this video. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon. So we can now move multiple icons at one time by going into wiggle mode, start moving one and then just clicking on others right here. I don't know why it's not working right now, but you're able to move multiple icons at the same time. Usually I'm not sure what's really going on here. There we go. We can also move multiple applications at the same time now. So if you go into wiggle mode and start moving one application and then click on another, see if we could do that, click, come on. We can also move multiple applications at one time now with iOS 11. So if you go into wiggle mode and start moving one application, just go ahead and click on others, you'll see that you're able to move multiple icons at the same time, which is really nice. I don't know why it's a little bit buggy still here on the 5S. I have noticed, you know, a lot of things are more buggy on the 5S 